get ready for a mind bending twistful. Scientists at the University of Washington have defied the rules we thought were set in stone. Picture this you throw a ball forward, but instead of going where it's supposed to, it flies straight back, like magic, right? Well, not quite. Researchers haven't conjured up such a mystical ball, but they've created something just as astonishing a liquid that moves in reverse when pushed, behaving like it has negative mass. Yes, you read that right, we're talking about a concept that's typically reserved for CFI blockbusters, and it's now stepping into the real world. So, what do you think? Is this the stuff of fantasy or could it be a game changer in our understanding of physics? The concept of negative mass is blowing minds and opening doors to a universe of what-ifs. Just like shaking hands with your future self or finding a lion in the bathroom. This breakthrough may sound far-fetched, but who's to say it can't happen? This experiment has got us questioning everything about our reality. So how did these trailblazers pull off what seems impossible? Stay tuned because we're diving into the science behind this mind-boggling discovery and exploring the incredible possibilities that could arise from it. We'll also uncover what secret scientists think they've uncovered in the lab and what this might mean for us as we continue to push the boundaries of our understanding of the universe. You might have thought it was science fiction, an object that behaves exactly opposite to what we know about our world. But hold on tight because scientists at Washington State University had other plans. For decades, the idea of negative mass was dismissed as purely theoretical, like having a negative electric charge. This mysterious exotic matter defies Newton's second law, basically saying an object should speed up in the opposite direction when pushed. It sounds crazy, but let's see how our heroes made it possible. To tackle this challenge, researchers Michael Forbes and Peter Ingalls led their team on an incredible journey to nearly absolute zero, just 450, nine degrees Fahrenheit away from complete stillness. What they achieved next is nothing short of groundbreaking. They created a Bose-Einstein condensate using lasers and rubidium atoms. But what does that even mean? Let's dive in together and uncover the secrets behind this remarkable experiment. Get ready for some mind-bending physics. When particles reach near absolute zero, they start behaving in ways that challenge our everyday understanding. Albert Einstein and Satyendra Nath Bose predicted this phenomenon as temperatures plummet. Particles slow down dramatically and begin acting like waves instead of tiny balls bouncing around. This synchronization is so precise that these atoms move together in perfect harmony. No energy loss here. The result? A superfluid, a state where the material flows without any resistance or friction at all. But wait, there's more. This process also triggers a cooling effect. The hot particles emitted during this stage create a sort of vapor that cools down the rubidium even further. We're getting closer to understanding how these scientists made negative mass a reality. Let's picture this crazy experiment. Imagine supercooling rubidium until it behaves like a magical liquid that flows without friction. Scientists used lasers as tiny traps to contain these atoms, kind of like holding them inside a miniature jar just 100 microns big. But when the jar breaks down, the outer atoms start moving away in all directions under pressure from the central ones. Here's where it gets wild. Even though the rubidium was acting like a superfluid, it still had positive mass. To turn up the weirdness, scientists employed a second set of lasers that started pushing and pulling on the escaping atoms, changing their spin direction along the way. Voila. The rubidium now exhibited negative mass properties. Instead of moving forward when pushed, it accelerated in the opposite direction. Like, magic, right? Here's what went down. Scientists created this temporary state where rubidium atoms acted like they were running into an invisible wall, even though there wasn't one. It's super important to note that this only happened in a lab, and it was short-lived soon. The atoms went back to being regular particles with positive mass. The trick used by these researchers helped them sidestep some of the mistakes from previous attempts at making negative mass. Now, while some scientists think this is all about mimicking negative mass, rather than actually creating it. They still manage to nail down a negative value without any room for error. This breakthrough gives us a fresh tool to better understand mind-blowing objects in space like neutron stars, black holes, and dark energy who knows what we'll discover next. Get ready for this. A British astronomer named Jamie Farnes from Oxford University just dropped a major clue about dark energy, which drives the universe's rapid expansion. 
he thinks it could be connected to dark matter, a mysterious substance with negative mass properties. Now, you might have heard of the Lambda CDM model, which is our best theory so far for understanding how the universe works. It says we've got two major unknown players, dark energy and dark matter. Dark energy slows down space's expansion, while dark matter affects everything from galaxy clusters to star rotation speeds. Some scientists believe that dark energy comes from a type of energy found in empty space, while others think it might be made up of hidden particles we haven't discovered yet. The hunt is on. Here's where things get seriously mind-blowing. Jamie Farn's modified model combines dark energy and dark matter into one substance, kind of like a cosmic dance between positive and negative masses. Now, some crazy thinkers propose using this negative mass to detect wormholes, those theoretical shortcuts through space-time. These tunnels can either be impassable or passable, the latter being the holy grail for any time-traveling enthusiast. You might have heard that supermassive black holes at galaxy centers are thought to be wormhole mouths, but here's the catch we're stuck outside looking in and can't prove it, except maybe by checking their mass. The negative mass test. If it's got a negative score, it's likely a wormhole. But there's a catch. A positive reading doesn't rule out the possibility of a black hole. To make it passable, you'd need some seriously exotic stuff inside. Now, when it comes to these wormholes, they can be either intraworld or interworld. Think of them as shortcuts within our universe or between completely different ones. Scientists propose that if we blow up the tunnel connecting two sides, we'll know for sure whether we're dealing with an intraworld wormhole or a gateway to another universe. Mind blown yet. Buckle up, folks. If we're talking about intraworld wormholes, time travel might not be just science fiction anymore. Here's how it works. Imagine two people, one stepping into the wormhole and the other staying outside. According to relativity, when they reunite, the space traveler will have aged less thanks to that mind-bending twin paradox. But here's the twist. When you look through the wormhole, both clocks appear perfectly sensed, so nothing seems out of the ordinary, oh yet. The wild card is this if timed just right, it might be possible to emerge from a wormhole before you even enter it. Talk about a time travel paradox. With some clever calculations, you could technically even give your past self a high five as they're getting ready to take the leap into the unknown. Mind officially blown. So, can we build our own wormhole time machine? Well, the short answer is, maybe. It's theoretically possible to create a super powerful black hole and its negative mass counterpart, then link them up for instant travel. Think of it like this, with enough mass and energy, the distance between them becomes irrelevant. But here's the catch, we're talking about quantities that are truly astronomical. Now, there's another way to travel through time, and that's by reaching incredible speeds in space. We're talking close to the speed of light, fast enough for your spaceship to experience time dilation. This means time will actually slow down for you relative to the rest of the universe. Just imagine being able to skip forward or backward in time. If only it were that simple, right? Here's the thing about traveling really fast as your speed increases, your time moves slower. It's like a cool swap, the faster you zip through space, the more time stands still for you. Let me give you an example. Imagine you're heading to a far-off destination that's 40 light years away. You've built a spaceship that can go ridiculously fast, over 99.9% of the speed of light. With this speed, it takes you just two years to get there and back. But here's the mind-bending part from your perspective on the ship. Time only passed at a snail's pace during those two years. So, when you return home, you'll have aged maybe two years but 40 years might have flown by for everyone else on Earth. They'd be celebrating some new millennium. But here's where it gets wild, Edo, when you blast back onto Earth after your super speedy trip. Get this 80, two years will have zoomed by. That means everyone and everything you left behind would have aged drastically while you were out cruising through space-time at nearly the speed of light. This crazy concept is called time dilation, and it's been proven by scientists in some seriously cool experiments. They're basically defying what we thought was impossible with enviable consistency. This has people questioning what's truly off-limits in our universe, leaving us to wonder just how much more mind-blowing stuff can science reveal. Fast forward to our future, where space travel gets a total game-changer artificially made wormholes. Suddenly, Zipping off to a nearby galaxy for a quick visit with friends becomes as easy as hopping on the metro. 
Now let's dive into something even more fantastical, negative mass. Imagine if we could harness its properties to create a reality-bending technology that lets us do the impossible, like making objects move without any force being applied or creating perpetual motion machines. The possibilities are endless and it's mind-blowing to think about what could become our new norm. If you're loving this content as much as I am, be sure to hit that 